welcome back. Today we're making tender, delicious oxtails. If you've never tried oxtails before, you definitely need to try this recipe. It's very easy to make and they're so juicy and tender, you're not gonna wanna stop eating them. So let's get started. First we wash it in a little bit of vinegar and water. And if this is your first time purchasing oxtails, you do wanna choose oxtails that are the larger pieces. A lot of the times at the supermarkets, they do throw in a lot of the little pieces with the bigger ones. So always try to choose the package that has the larger oxtails included. I've washed my oxtails in water and vinegar. And the next step is to add all the vegetables and spices. I have the recipe with all the measurements posted at the bottom. So now we're gonna add the green peppers, tomatoes, and mix it. Can add some spices, and we got some thyme, oregano, brown sugar, sweet paprika, allspice, some tomato paste. Add the onion, a little bit of garlic and ginger. We mix it a little bit again. Now we add the green onion and parsley. Some more Shishire sauce. Apple cider vinegar. And salt and pepper, we added to taste. I start off adding about one teaspoon, and then towards the end, I'm gonna season it a little bit more to see. You can also add hot chilies or chili peppers if you want it spicy. We don't like it spicy. And we like spicy food, we just don't like our oxtail spicy. And salt, I would say about one teaspoon for now as well. Now we marinate it for three to four hours or overnight. So right now it's been about four hours and I just wanted to show you before we start cooking how much water it released. So it does release the vegetables and the meat does release a lot of water while it's marinating. And now we move over to the cooking station. So now we have a hot smoking pan or a Dutch oven. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil now we're gonna sear the meat on both sides. We're not cooking it, we're just getting a little bit of brown color. add all the seasonings that we marinated the oxtails in and you can scrub your pan a little bit on the bottom just to get all the browning off and we're gonna cook this for three hours and we're gonna be checking it Right now in an hour, we're going to go and check it because later you need to start adding a little bit of liquid, just a little bit, a little bit at a time. And towards the end, the meat might start sticking to the pan. So at the end, you really want to be checking every 15 minutes. But the first two hours are pretty 
pestle free. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of water. And you want to keep it covered, but not completely. So this is two hours of cooking so far. This is what it looks like. The sauce is starting to, thick. it's not thick yet, but it's starting to thicken up a little bit. I have added one teaspoon of salt. I tasted it, I felt like it needed a little bit more. And now the last hour, I would keep checking every 15, 20 minutes, because now as the sauce is reducing, the oxtails might start sticking to the bottom if you don't keep an eye on it. So it's been 30 more minutes. And now it's starting to thicken up a little bit. So I'm adding a little bit more water. Three and a half hours later and dinner is finally complete. Just look how tender and juicy the oxtails turned out. So I hope you give this recipe a try and enjoy it. Smachnego!